Hi guys and happy Sunday. Today is February 13th and we are on day 11, I believe. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh, day 12 of um, our mini catalog tour. So today is a set that, oh, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Anyway, page 60 of the mini catalog, Blessings of Home. Now this I bought back in November, I believe it was. It was the add-on bundle for On Stage at Home. So if we want to do the projects, it wasn't our gift like the one yesterday was. The one yesterday was a gift. This one we actually purchased at a bundle to do the uh, examples with. And you didn't have to buy it, but I liked it, so I did. So we're going to show you. Now, as you can tell, it's a beautiful set, set of seven, but it involves coloring. And you guys know how I am about coloring. It's a hit or miss for me. So I'm going to show you what I did with this set to create this little card. And I think when we do the next one, I'm going to put some little jewels on here. I'm going to show you the new jewels from an upcoming promotion, Oceans, Waves of Ocean, Ocean Waves. I don't know. I'll go pull it and I'll let you know. Anyway, so this is just a very simplistic card using just a fun technique for coloring. All right. Now... You've seen me use this before when I was doing the tiles and all. Oh, sorry. I don't know if that was showing or not. Um, so this is just a plastic frame, I think it was, with a chamois in it. Now, you can't really use our chamois because it absorbs and kind of, and I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, our chamois that we use to clean our stamps. I really don't think you could use that in this technique. I just have it on here for any extra water, water spillage, but you don't have to have it. You could use paper towels, whatever. So this is just uh, your standard cling wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. And then I have some markers. I have soft succulent, gorgeous grape, just jade, and misty moonlight. And this is gonna be my coloring. I also have, sorry, two sheets of the shimmery white. I think it works the best on this technique. The watercolor paper would also work, but I like the shimmery white. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to scribble on this plastic wrap and you're gonna make it larger than what your card size is. So this is mostly purple for the flower area. Then I'm gonna bring in some blue to go in it, side it. And then I'm gonna finish off with my greens. This is the Just Jade, and this is the Soft Succulent. And I put a piece of just copier or typing paper underneath it, just so I can see where the color's going. Cause against my chamois, of course, it gets kind of mottled. You can't tell where the color is. Then I'm going to take one of our spritzers filled with water, just plain water, and I'm going to spritz it. I'm going to get it pretty wet. All right. Give it a second. Then I like using, you can use just one. I like using two because I'm always looking to double my capacity. So I'm just going to fold this down, press it down a little. Then I'm going to come over with this edge bring it back a little over this edge. You're not going to get as much. This is my, this one is what I'm using for the outside. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't do the technique you're going to see on the other side. And then we'll fold this one over and then we'll fold it loosely over. Don't make it too tight. And then you're going to come over and you're going to do a little bit of squishing moving around. Now you can leave it overnight if you want to, if you want these lines really to be pronounced. I'm not so worried about that. So I'm just gonna pounce it around here, make sure that a lot of my white space is. So I think that looks good. We're gonna unwind it. And this is the beauty of this. I've been using this plastic wrap for a while. Cause what I do is I take these out 
Look at that. We're going to set it over here to dry just for a little bit. And then I turn it upside down onto my chamois. Press it off. Put this back in there. And it's ready for the next one. Okay, because now we have this as the dry side. I don't know if you can see here. Um, I'll show you with this part. See? No ink. Because it's going underneath to that chamois. And that way you can use this quite a few times. You can make quite a few cards out of it. It gets to a point though where it starts crinkling upon itself. Then it's time to get a new piece. So let me set this off to the side for just a second. All right, let's bring those two back. As you can see, they're a little wet still. You can take your heat tool if you want to with it. I tend just to take a paper towel and tap it down because it's mostly dry. A little wet, and that's going to come to play when we go to run it through our stamp and cut emboss machine. So you could let it dry overnight if you want to. For the sake of doing this video, I'm going to do it right away. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to put, just, just to keep it flat, I'm going to put my temporary down while I stamp. You also could use post-it notes here. All right, just putting down temporary tape. Going to ink this up with my memento. Now you could also use your stamparatus here if you wanted to. If you're afraid you're not going to get a good inking, I'm going to, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to throw caution to the wind and just hope it turns out okay. Get a lot of memento on there. Put that back up over here. And I think I want, I'm going to stamp this upside down because I want my flowers in that purple area there. I'm going to hold it down for a second. Try not to move it around. Move one hand at a time. Because there might still be just some moisture left in that cardstock. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, throw temporary tape, post-it tape, whatever you want to call it, over here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and trim a little bit of this off because this would make a great layer for uh, sayings later. I'm only doing this so it runs through the baby stamp and cut emboss machine easier. Okay. Put those strips over here on my side. Bring out the baby. This stamp set, besides having the wonderful stamps, also have 11 dies with them. So we're using this die, oops, this die that goes around this. So see how that goes around it. Now on this, you want to be careful when you use your post-it note or whatever. And let me just go ahead and bring out a post-it note on this because sometimes that removable tape tends to, because remember you had moisture on this card. So it tends to stick to the paper a little bit more than you would like to. So let's just put that to hold it in place. Bring out the baby. Yeah, use plates one and two of your twos. Oh, look at that. I think that was for, oh, it was. That was for my example card. Okay, anyway, we'll scrape that off later. I'm gonna put this on here. Line it all up so it'll go through nicely. Sometimes if you don't have those edges lined up, uh, it seems to like need a little extra start to get through your cutting stamp and emboss machine. All right, so hopefully, because of that pressure, hopefully these don't stick to the paper like it did last time. There you go. Excellent, and you see you're getting some of that card up there because of the pressure. 
But then look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And if you have little small letters or punches you want, you could always save that. You know me. I'll save it. Okay, so here's this. Then I also, just because I like to go ahead and cut another one of these out to layer. So I can't remember if I cut this small enough. Good, I did. All right. Because it's such a dark, oh, there it is. Such such a dark background. We're using a color similar. I like taking, and this is just very vanilla. Get that lined up together so it'll go through. This is just very vanilla. Put it over to the side again. Take that out, and yeah, I should have gone more off to the edge so you can use it for later. But this would also make great a great mask now you wanted to mask out that background. All right, and then I just, I'm going to go ahead and cut it pretty much down the middle. Oh my gosh, no fingernails. All right, I'm gonna take my multi-purpose glue and I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on the edges here and I'm just going to have a slight masking that just so you see it's a little bit around the edge just helps to pop it up a little bit and we'll go down here put some more there and there you go oops moved it a little too much and there you go so I'll show you against the Misty Moonlight cardstock. See how it gives it just a little bit of a pop. All right. If you wanted to move it a little bit more, you could. Then this is the top piece. Now you could save this and use it alone on, or use it for another die cut. I like using it for my background piece. So what I do is now, this is shimmer white. So even though you've introduced water to it, it's still pretty strong. So I'm just gonna do an edge here, but you do kind of have to start off on your own, just doing that. And see then this also is gonna leave that little mimic of a white edge, which will mimic that. All right. And you don't have to use your bone folder. I like using it as a guide so I don't go too crazy because I want the majority of the card to be covered and if I just rip it on my own I probably would end up ripping it all the way in there because you know me and you always want to make sure you get some of that some of that edge otherwise it feathers off and you'll have that straight edge still All right, this one isn't gonna be that pretty. See, I got really in there. So let me go ahead, maybe I'll just try ripping it from this way. It's nice, strong cardstock, guys, just so you know. Or maybe I'm just ex exceptionally weak, one or the other. All right, I'll just leave it like that. All right, these scraps you can throw away, of course. All right, so here's my Misty Moonlight. This, of course, was five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. We just folded it over. I'm going to go ahead and lay that down. I think I'm going to leave that up there because if I'm stamping, I don't want to stamp on that edge because it might soak through. So let's go ahead. Again, I use the glue on this just because there was moisture in this card, and I'm not sure if I used my Stampin' Seal or Stampin' Seal Plus, if it might rip up that layer. So, and I'm gonna do a little off kilter. Or did you, I don't know if you could see that. Hang on, I just wanna make sure it's down. I don't know if you can see that, but the, you can see the sparkle in the purple from the shimmery white. Okay, so we have that. 
Now I'm also going to grab my dimensionals and I like putting dimensionals right where those two meet just to help kind of hold it down. Oops, and that one's going to stay there too, I guess. A lot of static in the Chicagoland area. We've had cold weather, we've had snow, it's warmed up. We had, what night was it, Thursday night? We had sleety, freezy rain, like at two in the morning. So it's just crazy here with the static electricity. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to lay that down like that. Still a little bit wet, just right there. I'm going to use this wonderful saying from that set. A little crooked, but we mounted it on a crooked, so all good. And then let me go over here because I just got these in. Let me just see. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Waves of the Ocean is the promo that the demonstrators can get right now. Uh, customers, this will be available. I think they said March. Yeah, March 1st for customers to May 2nd, but it will be in the new catalog. So it's a really fun stamp set, dies, foil paper. Pay, um, jewels and all that. So I decided that this has some of the same colors as my card. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh no, I just knocked one off there. All right, so that one's going on there because I hit it off with my hand. But see how we have some of those same colors. I don't know, did they tell us the colors that these represent? They probably do on the flyer. I would have to look. And of course they will in your catalog. All right. I don't ever leave them inside the plastic anyway. So you can see some of those same colors. So we have the blue. Let's get a green one in there, but let's get a different size. And let's get one of these. And there you are. Thanks for sticking with me during this video. Hope you learned a little bit of a fun technique you can do with your Stampin' Write markers. These are not the blends. You can do this technique with the blends. They have to be water-based, which are your Stampin' Write markers. But I hope you enjoyed it. Have a fabulous Sunday. Uh, if you're into watching the Super Bowl or the commercials, have a good evening. Stay safe. And we'll see you again next weekend.